I'm Neve Owens. Welcome to the Isuzu Ute A-League Highlights Show. The traditional Australia Day Big Blue kicked off the round at Amy Park. With one win between them in five weeks, pressure is mounting on both sides, adding extra gravitas to the derby in Melbourne. Calling the action, Simon Hill and Andy Harper. This is lovely football by Sydney. It's LaFondra inside the box. Parried by Acton. And that can't convert. Huge chance for Sydney. And they couldn't take it. And now there's a foul by Caballo. And victory won a yellow card for the Sydney fullback. It's Brimmer. And he went for goal! What a splendid strike from Jake Brimmer. The Johnny Warren medalist from last season, who's not really yet hit the heights this campaign, but boy has he hit the back of the net with that one. Andrew Redmayne beat by a worldie for the second game in succession. Good climb by Lafondra to Bio. Lafondra in space, looking to dink it. That is a fantastic save from that Acton, his second of the game, to deny the same player. Yeah, excellent. Zanofsky's been caught, Mack, Burgess, onto his right peg, 1-1! Fantastic finish from Max Burgess, his first of the season, and we're all tied up. And they have been warned, Melbourne victory. Let's hope they get back into that. Salami is around Ryan Grant with ease, and fires it in, it's Forderoli. Well, it wasn't quite La Bicicleta. No. If it was at all, it was more like a penny farthing. <laughs> Chris Ball for Lolly. That's even better for La Fondra! Sydney have come from behind to lead 2-1. Adam La Fondra's eighth big blue goal. His fifth here at Amy Park. Sydney FC fan celebrates. And that razor-sharp ball through, found the Englishman, and he didn't disappoint. The slow back. And Lolly went through first time, and it nearly crept in. A looping shot that had Acton scrambling across his goal mouth. Sydney defence backtracking, Falami into the box, and into the side netting. Beautiful feed again. And Sydney have crowded in good numbers. Area wins it back, determined play by the fullback. Wilson! Fight save, Red Bay. Preserves Sydney's advantage and denies the youngster his first A League goal. Great hit. Miranda is bumped into by Yasbek, but that is full time. And Steve Corica hugs his coaching staff almost in relief. Tony Popovich, there's a lot going on in that head at this particular moment. The pressure eases on Corica, but intensifies on Popovich. They've now lost six of their last seven matches here at Amy Park, and they remain rock bottom, full time. Melbourne victory one, Sydney FC two. Arthur Pappas and his Jets side are also desperate for three points with Newcastle chasing their first win for 2023. Brisbane Raw heads out to McDonald Jones Stadium for Friday night football in the Hunter. Your commentators are Robbie Thompson and Daniel McBreen. And they're finding Piscopo in between the lines. Is that a little bit of luck as Piscopo? Let's fly with almost a toey from 25 yards out. Piscopo with a great tackle on his own player to come away with the ball. Nice turn, Thurgate. Look at this, marauding run, Thurgate hits it. Comfortable in the end for Holmes. That was a wonderful turn, wasn't it? Under pressure from Angus Thurgate there. Here's Piscopo again. Slicing through, lovely run, four forward for the Jets here. Satirio peeling off onto the right boot. And they've been threatening all night. And those two have finally provided Renault Piscopo at the heart of everything. Turning provider once again, and this time 
the chance was not spurned. Well, we'll see on the Harvey Norman replay. Rene Piscopo has been dangerous running forward all night. This time he picks it up from his own half, and he's a man on a mission. Brisbane players everywhere. Soterio peels off, and a wonderful finish. Big switch is a good one for Horn. Now he gets back to his feet quickly. Comes again. Henry Hall on the left foot it was a good effort. Ayom with the cutback deflected from Armiento. The Jets want to know where the offside flag is. It's always a big occasion when you play against a former club. Bahaja. Oh, Bahaja. Chance to stretch those legs. He's lightning quick. Is this the moment for the Jets? Trent Bahaja. No mistake. And they lead by two goals to nil with 18 minutes left on the clock. As the ball comes to him, he gets in a little pocket here, spins, beats the first one, and now it's a foot race. And to be fair to Tom Aldred, he does a good effort to get there, but he was no chance. Well, he has been caught out, Jack Duncan, against the Mariners as well as the advantage for Hoffman again. Mikkel Tadze, he curls it! And the Georgian! Finally gets his goal. He can't hear the doubters. Players all over the pitch, forming well and strong. And there may be a little more joy. Soterio for Goodwin. And Archie Goodwin scores. And the local boy that the Newcastle fans come to see each week. They love it when he scores. That's his first of the season. Just 18 years of age still. One that will live long in the memory. And this match may well live long in the memory of those Newcastle fans as well. A great night to be a Jets fan in Newcastle. The Jets 4, Brisbane Raw nil. It's this season's second instalment of the Long Distance Derby with Perth travelling over 5,000 kilometres to take on Wellington Phoenix in Palmerston. Jason Pine and Paul Eiffel are calling the action from Central Energy Trust Arena in the North Island of New Zealand. Phoenix doing well to keep it in a tight area, but they'll recycle now. Helped into the area, Zavada! It's such a familiar sight. Oscar Zavada rises high and in the 11th minute... He takes his tally for the season to seven and puts Wellington into a 1-0 lead. 159th A-League game for Jordan Elsie this afternoon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come the pass to Maragas who pulls it back, spills, Barbarousas! An error from Cameron Cook. Costa Barbarousas didn't need a second invitation. The only man who's ever played on this ground twice in the A-League men has doubled Wellington's money. They're 2-0 ahead. Amini looking to find a way back for his side. Katrumbus goes past Baragas. Good from Johnny Katrumbus. Sale pats it away. Katrumbus heads it across and in and in by David Williams for the second time this season. David Williams scores against his former club and the two-goal buffer didn't last very long. David Williams makes it 2-1. Jelicic linking up with Williams and again Keegan Jelicic across the six-yard box and almost an own goal from Tim Payne. Swatted away by Ollie Sale. Gee, it's treacherous in these penalty areas. It's a fantastic save from Ollie Sale. You can't have been expecting that one. First of an A-League men's triple header for you today. MacArthur against Western United at Campbelltown after this. Then the Mariners against the Western Sydney Wanderers. Foul on the edge of the penalty area as David Williams went to ground under challenge from Tim Payne. The only thing they can be potentially looking at here is an upgrade perhaps of a yellow card to a red if that is the denying of an obvious goal scoring opportunity that's the only thing VAR can look at in this situation with VAR these days nothing would surprise me yep upgrade oh. the yellow card has been expunged and it will be upgraded to a red card for Tim Payne Amini with the shot which just about threatened Ollie Sale's goal frame it was an awkward one for Sale, he's patted it behind eventually for a corner. Rye smile from Ollie yeah. Sale as Amini's shot drifted quite threateningly. I think it actually hit the hit the top of the bar here. 
Ball towards the near post and hit it and they're not going to get the chance to do it because David Williams has come hearing towards the near post and scored his second of the afternoon to draw Perth glory level here in Palmerston North. He helps it in. Headed away by Laws. Here is Jacob Douse. Thought about shooting towards the far post. Headed back and against the crossbar. Perth close to taking a 3-2 lead from 2-0 down. Drives it into the six-yard area and off the crossbar again. And wide this time from Zimmerino. Just twice, Mark, twice the bar has saved the Phoenix. Are they going to launch it in or not? Ben Olds told to keep it in the corner, so they're happy with the point. It is another corner. And that'll be the last action here. Honours even in Palmerston North. The Wellington Phoenix with two first half goals. Oscar Zavada and Costa Barbarousas on the score sheet. But it was a brace from old boy David Williams who has stolen, in fact not stolen but earned, and rightfully so, Perth a share of the points here. Join us after the break as we wrap up the rest of the action from round 14. Welcome back to the Isuzu Ute A-League Highlights Show. Saturday night sees Mile Stajovski in charge of his debut game as head coach of MacArthur FC. First job? Beating the reigning champions Western United at Campbelltown Stadium. Robbie Thompson and Andy Harper are calling the game. Corner number three, Dumbia's little touch. And Leo Lacroix at the back post. Couldn't finally get his first goal in the right end of this season. Curto and Young have made more saves than any other goalkeepers in the league as Troisi's ball in and that was a dangerous one. Wales with the follow-up and Vujic's defending was a lot more convincing that time. Wales back for Troisi, it's lovely football, Botic is in behind them, great stop Curto. First real chance of the match going the way of the champions and Noah Botic very close to his first ever A-League goal. If you give just half a scent of the ball to Josh Risden, he's in. And here he goes again, and he's got options for Connor Payne, who can hit it first time. Back for Risden! Well, it was wonderfully played in the finishing touch. Unfortunately for Western United, is once again absent. Kearney Robinson is our video assistant referee as Kilkenny's been caught by Bacchus, and it's going to be a yellow card for the MacArthur number 11. Well, the referee is having a listen and may have another look at this. It's Bacchus who's gone high into that challenge on Botic. And it's a red card for Kieran Bacchus. And now Risden. Oh, finding Wales who can take a shot and can score! For the second time this season, he's on the score sheet against MacArthur. And it's the visitors that have the lead on the hour mark. Noon, he's got Miller behind him. Now Davila. Uli Davila still driving the ball across. And they're back in it. The 10 men of MacArthur equalise through their providential goal scorer. The right back, Matt Miller, with his fourth of the season. It's been such a topsy-turvy season. As Noon's ball in for Najar. Controls by Davila, check through! And they've done it, Andy Harper. And Jed Drew, with his second goal in his first season of top flight football in Australia. And it may yet prove to be another winner for Bayou against Miller. Bayou's ball for Milanovic! And Western United have equalised. Nick Milanovic, the super sub, Strikes again, his fourth of the season. That boy has an eye for goal, and what an important one that is. Defeat would be harsh, to be fair, on either of these two sides on this second half performance in which both teams have shown great character, particularly, you have to say, the home side, MacArthur, after the sending off of Kieran Bacchus in the 49th minute. What followed was an unbridled 35 with goals from Wales, Miller, Drew, and finally that young man, 
Nick Milanovic. MacArthur, FC 2, Western United 2. Two points separate the Central Coast Mariners in second and the Western Sydney Wanderers in third as they go toe-to-toe -to -toe at Industry Group Stadium on Saturday night. Your commentators for this one, Simon Hill and Daniel McBreen. Mariners are really starting to make this place a fortress again, winning their last four and really, I think, shocked everyone the last time these two met with a convincing 3-0 win. They weren't too great out of the trap. Oh, here's a chance, Oli Bazanic! Forcing a fine save out of Danny Vukovic. Straight at Lisbon, who lifts it over the top beautifully. Tulio! That should have been 1-0. A guilt-edge chance for Marco Tulio. But he put it wide. Beautifully found by Nisbet. That's a good ball from Ewan Hoff. And Bozanic's onside. Into the path of Brenda Borello. Needed a second touch. He surely must finish. Cleared off the line by Hall. And Borello again. Surely the Wanderers must score, but they can't. And ultimately the flag has gone up. And the Mariners somehow survive. Nice touch by Sammy Silvera. Can have a go here. Absolute gold from Sammy Silvera. Drills it into the corner as he scores for the second time against Western Sydney this season. And Central Coast Stadium is a wall of sound. Here's Traore. And Makoto. Traore's continued his run. Tulio trying to get back level with him. Good centre. And Oli Pasanic sliding in again. That's four chances he's had. He can't come much closer. Mariners trying to stay compact. Floated up towards Wilmering. And it will sit for him. Oh, look at that! Look at that! From Yeni and Bakoto. That is just magic. The back heel that he had no right to do, given his body position. The Wanderers tie it up. And that is just brilliant improvisation from Yeni and Bakoto. Shifts it onto that right boot, and it almost sneaks in at that back post. And surely any sort of a touch. And that's 2-1 Central Coast, and credit, therefore, to Adama Traore. And Makoto. That's an intelligent ball, and Simmons takes it in his stride with a plum. It's Aiden Simmons. Checks back and finds Brandon Borello. 2-1 Wanderers! A razor-sharp finish with the left boot of Brandon Borello, who scores for the fourth time this season. Simmons gets the plaudits for the assist, and the Wanderers are in front. Free kick rolled short from Theoharis for Tulio. Nobody tracks Theoharis. 2-1. Or rather, 2-2, I should say. Nectar Triantis. Wow. Mariners all square. Unbelievable. 2v1 created. The ball gets cut back. And do you know what? I think Jason Cummings might claim this off the chest and in the goal. Now we're ready. Theoharis goes for goal. Oh, it grazes the crossbar. A game of centimetres. Wow. What about this game? <laughs> if this doesn't get bums on seats, I don't know what will. Wow, what a game we've seen. Well, a point almost seems scant reward for both teams, but that's what they end up with. What a breathtaking game of football that was. Central Coast Mariners 2, Western Sydney Wanderers 2. The final game of the round comes from Amy Park. Adelaide United are in Victoria to take on league leaders Melbourne City on Sunday afternoon. Calling the action, Simon Hill and Grace Gill. Oh, miscue. Vitilio could open the door here for Adelaide. Blackwood, 1-0. Extraordinary. 34 seconds on my watch. A terrible mistake by City inside their own penalty area. And George Blackwood, restored to the starting 11 today, has pounced. Marisha, Adelaide sat very deep. Tilio. Trying to force his way through. It's Marco Tilio and Joe Gacci 
with a big save. Near post, 1-1. Thomas Lamb. First goal in Melbourne City Blue. And the league leaders tied up. Goodwin's corner, there's another one. Ryan Kitto, just his second of the season. Incredible. And again, it's a set piece. Melbourne City score from a corner, and Adelaide say, we can do that too. 2-1 Two for the Reds. Here's Tolbert. Tilio. Going back post for Lecky and Van der Ven and Joe Gacci again. Another big, big save. Oh, that's a risky ball by Boss, and Craig Goodwin accepts the gift. Goodness me, two massive defensive errors in this first half by Melbourne City. One by Tilio, now by Boss. Two of their best young stars this season, and Craig Goodwin was not going to miss from there. Curtis Good. Lecky. Getting away from Lopez. Has Van der Ven in attendance. Going to go himself, and he scores! <laughs> Melbourne City back in it. Matt Lecky against his old club from a long way out. Joe Gouch will be disappointed. He's been beaten from there. Team really taking the ascendancy Ooh, through this that's passage. That's a nasty one. That's a nasty one. They've earned this corner. Berengue's delivery, and it's just wide. Inches. Boss. Still going. Jordan Boss. And still, is there a trip? Penalty. Popovich dangled out the leg. McLaren. Gauchy gets the right way, but McLaren scores, and it's another milestone as he moves into fourth place past John Cosmina on the all-time National League scoring list. Cross needs to come in soon. Too late. All over. Groans of disappointment for the home fans. But a super game of football overshadowed, it must be said. What a weekend in the Isuzu Ute A-League men's competition. 25 goals in total, six today, Equally shared, Melbourne City 3, Adelaide United 3. Our thoughts go out to you one day after that serious leg injury. The whole football community wishes you all the best for your recovery. Before we go, let's have a quick look at the league table. A whole heap of goals across the league this weekend. The top seven sides all involved in draws in round 14, sharing the points, so very little movement at the top of the table. The Jets' big win sees them jump the roar and the victory remain rooted to the foot of the table after Sydney FC snatched all three points on the road on Thursday night. That's it from round 14. We'll see you next week for more Isuzu Ute A-League action.